what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel welcome back today we're jumping into some more jojo's bizarre adventure today we're going to be doing three episodes to wrap up this part of jojo's bizarre adventure okay we have um jojo taking out one of the um pillar men right um in revenge um, in in revenge, avenging Caesar, right? Um, we also found out that Lisa Lisa is Joseph's mom, which we never knew. Um, but it was explained that she was um, she was the baby, right? That was rescued. Um, Cause I was wondering what happened with that baby, um, you know. And she was the baby, so she ended up being joseph's mom says he kind of grew up um with um joe 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 <laughs> i think jonathan jonathan right so she kind of grew up with jonathan's um son or she was Was she? What? Well, hold on. Lisa, Lisa would have grown up with Jonathan's kid, kid, right? Because um, wasn't Erina pregnant at the time when when Jonathan died? I'm trying to remember the storyline here. I forgot. I forgot a lot. Of, like that ending sequence at the end of part one it was episode nine or something like that. We got that confirmation of what happened. I was speculating about what could happen in the future. Um, that baby that was saved on the ship, right? Um, okay, I guess they're probably going to explain it again as soon as we get into this episode. So let's jump in and I will see you guys after and I will tell you guys where I stand on this series after we finish um, watching these. So make sure you come back. For the review. All right, so what's going on, guys? So that was the last three episodes of the, the second part, right? Which is Battle Tendency. Wow. That was amazing. That was amazing, man. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is definitely... One of the most, the strangest animes that I've ever watched. And I've watched some really strange anime. Like, I've watched some animes that just, just doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? That I probably shouldn't have watched or watched throughout. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's certain animes that, you know, that I've watched that I would never put up or react to. Because it's it's so etchy or whatever the situation is but it's just the, the the plot lines of of those is just extremely it's just strange you get what i'm saying and jojo is definitely up there it's just that with jojo the thing that i love about this anime and why you know i keep watching it and enjoying it so much it's just a mixture of probably every genre of anime in this and, you know, you guys were not kidding when you said that a lot of animes drew, um, you know, a lot of stuff, the way how they portray it in the anime, not necessarily the manga, but the way how things are portrayed in certain animes, they kind of took a lot of stuff from Jojo, you know, um, except for like the over exaggeration of things, which is like, I've seen that it in anime before, but Jojo, they just take it to a whole different level. You know, the explaining of things, you know what I'm saying? The explaining of things, um, of moves and the, ex the you know, um, I know that you were going to do that, but this is what I have. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, um, it's just crazy to see, you know what I mean? And now it seems like um, for the next part, they're going to bring back Dio, the original. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, Dio is always going to be one of my favorite characters in the series because it's it's Dio, man. Like, 
he was, you know what I'm saying? He was to me still, in my opinion, still the best villain in the show through two parts of it right now. Still, I still would take him over cars. I will take him over ACDC. I would take him over um, Whamu. I would take them, you know what I'm saying? I would take Dio over all of them because I think... I, I, I still think that if it was between Jojo and Jonathan, I would take Jonathan because Jonathan is more hardcore. He's a lot more serious, but it comes with age, right? It comes with age. So I can't blame um, Joseph for who he is because he's only like 19 years old, probably, you know, 20, you know, when he, he was... 19 when he died when they claimed that he died well he didn't really die but you get my meaning so he's like 20 i don't know how old he is now with all these years past going into the next part he's probably going to be old as shit because i mean our old um thing there was 89 when he died speed wagon so to not um, they're moving forward, but without these characters, these original characters, right? Speedwagon, um, Arena, uh, so all of those characters are, you know, gone now, except for, you know, um, Joseph and Susie Q. And it seems like the dude that's traveling from, you know, New York or whatever, to go to Japan to see his daughter. It seems like Suzy Q is his daughter. So I don't know what part that is going to play. Or what's the significance of him going to Japan, I guess. Um, but he also mentioned that there's a grandson that he hasn't met. So maybe um, that's going to be the next chapter of the Joe Stars with Joseph's son. So I'm looking forward to that, of course. Um, because it's always going to be a Jojo. I'm wondering if the image that we saw at the end of episode 26, the guy sitting in jail, I'm wondering if that is Joseph's son. It could be, could be, I don't know. I'm just speculating. It could be, that would be dope because he's already looking dope. You know what I'm saying? He already got the drip. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to that. So overall, I think in in my humble opinion i still would take part 1 over part 2 but part 2 was still dope that's like comparing apples to apples in my opinion i would give it like maybe a 0.5 over part 2 you know what i'm saying i thoroughly enjoy it because i love the interaction and the story better behind and how it was executed i like the story better from part 1 with Dio and Jonathan, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's in my opinion, it was a deeper story. Um, but, and you guys already know how much I, and uh, I, I appreciate a, a good story over, you know, battle action and all that stuff. There was a lot more action in part two, a lot more action, a lot more fighting. Um, and the story was dope too. The story behind it was dope too. The pillar men, um, you know, the, 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 you know, cars becoming the ultimate being. Um, if I would have any complaint about part two is I wasn't exactly satisfied with how it ended and how it concluded as in the villain versus our hero. Like I didn't like how it ended. It was like, okay, he wasn't defeated by, um, Amon in the end in in you get what I'm saying like it it just felt a little bit underwhelming in you know what I'm saying and that's just for me it might have been better for you because I know there are people who's gonna like part two better than part one um as I said the conclusion of it just didn't it it was underwhelming for me enjoyed it nonetheless you know what I'm saying um But at the same time, it was a little bit underwhelming for me. That's not to say that I take a lot of points off for that because it's still like for me, you know, part one was a was a 10 out of 10 of getting me into 
Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. And then part two is just like a 9.5 um, continuation. You get what I'm saying? So it's not that big a deal. I'm just saying if I was to knock it for anything, in my opinion, that's what I would knock it for. I, I just felt a little bit underwhelmed enough how it ended with him just floating in space. Like, you know what I'm saying? That simple means that maybe in the future he's going to come back. And that's the thing, like, when it comes on to anime, I like conclusion to things. I like when when villains die. It's one of the reasons why I don't really watch Dragon Ball for the story anymore because the story is shit. It's absolute shit. Villains don't really die. Frieza should be dead. He keeps getting his ass whooped. Like, what's the agenda with Frieza at this moment? Like, what what is it? What is it? Let, let's be honest here. Like, what is the agenda with him? With his character. Is he going to become a friendly like like Vegeta at this point? Because, I mean, leaving off from um, from Super and how Super ended, you know what I'm saying, with Freezer, Freezer basically coming back to life. He doesn't have the halo anymore, um, you know, with, um, with, with Whis granting him life again, right? So what's the agenda here? Other villains die, don't get me wrong. There are other villains that have died um, in the show. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying villains never die. You know, it's just that the story aspect of it just didn't make sense. I like to see villains die. Even if you're going to give them a meaningful death, I like to see villains die. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, there was an end to 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 pain there was a the one of the greatest arcs in naruto right if not the greatest arc in naruto right you have there was an end to kaguya there was an end to madara there was an end to these villains you get what i'm saying there was an end it was a satisfying end, whether it be meaningful or not it was an end you get what i'm saying there was an end to them there's not necessarily a clear end to cars. Who knows? It might float back to Earth as a meteor at some point. You get what I'm saying? And now, you know what I'm saying? When it comes on to at, at, um, at fitting, at least they made it was believable with Dio. It was believable that he was dead or at least gone for a long time. I mean... I'm kind of making my point for myself at this point because what I'm trying what I'm trying to say is that I'm just very underwhelming with how things went. It would have been nice if it was um if it was Joseph that at least launched him into space, but in some ways Jojo really didn't really do anything. You get what I'm saying? It was more of just like the force of the volcano was he actually using the red stone to launch cars into space? I don't know. It wasn't obvious. Even if I go back and watch it, right, which I'm going to see. I'm looking at it right now. Did he have the stone? Because he is the, the, the hot chunk of rock. You know what I'm saying? So because of the distraction with the, with 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 Joseph's arm, right? It distracted him and it created a fatal moment for all those rocks to launch into him and keep launching up. Now, I don't know what is the propelled force from the volcano to launch him that much that he can't even, you know what I'm saying, get out of it, but we're going to take it for what it is, right? So he's getting launched, right? Of course, he lied about, you know. <laughs> so it, it it's basically the force of the volcano that launched cars into the atmosphere, right? Out or not into, but out of the atmosphere, right? Or uh, in into space. I'm just saying it's a little underwhelming. That you know what I'm saying. Um, I like the ending that Dio got better than this one. Dio obviously looks like he's gonna come back and with cars it's just like 
it's look like they set up maybe they're setting up all the villains to come back at some point because none of them really get a you you do get you know what i'm saying like there was an end to acdc there was an end to whamu but it's like these main villains you get what i'm saying these men these main villains is like they have plans for them or something for them to come back at some point and that's not to say that's a bad thing it's just to say that the way how they did it the way how they how they did it was a little bit underwhelming for this one for for cars i didn't like how they did it you get what i'm saying like if it was like joseph doing like a a a, a uppercut and launch him in, into space because sun can't kill him anymore that would have been dope in my opinion that would have been way better you get what i'm saying and that's just my opinion i'm not saying that you know what i'm saying that's what they should have did i'm just saying for me it just was a bit underwhelming and as i said that's not taking a lot off of the show or making me enjoy the show any less you know what i'm saying i just think that they i, I think it could have been done better um for me it, it it was just like for for an action scene it just ended a little bit too underwhelming everything up to that point was great was awesome jojo getting his arm cut off everything was it had you at the edge of your seat until that so yeah so yeah man i'm thoroughly enjoying jojo's bizarre adventure of course you guys know this if i wasn't if i don't enjoy a series on this channel um i'm either gonna talk shit about it completely or i'm that's not gonna watch it <laughs> that's just what it is right so i appreciate you guys um love you guys man for showing up for this um second part of jojo's you guys have been really like um supportive with the likes and all of that good stuff you guys you guys have been doing well and i have to thank you guys for that appreciate you guys and don't forget to like the video don't forget to leave a comment let me know what you thought the first time you watched it you don't have to agree with me you also don't have to disagree with me but hey we're here leave a comment see boy terabyte reacts man peace